Happy Medieval May, everybody. I really like medieval stuff. Ever since I was a kid and I saw a 400 pound man and a 100 pound woman dressed as an elf share a turkey leg while watching a jousting session at a Renaissance festival, I have enjoyed medieval stuff. Had I not been allowed to purchase a sword at the ripe age of far too young to carry a weapon, I probably wouldn't be interested in medieval things, but I am. And Grace won't let me swing swords in the apartment. There is, however, a safe way to enjoy medieval things, and that is Lego. Lego has been making medieval sets since 1978, starting with the classic yellow castle. What are your thoughts on Lego medieval sets? Thank you. Medieval sets are continuing to gain popularity and shows no sign of stopping or slowing down. In fact, LEGO's been pushing medieval sets pretty heavily ever since the Medieval Blacksmith released in 2021. Since then, we've gotten gifts with purchases, we've gotten a castle, we've even gotten a medieval city, a little town, if you will. Today, I'm here to focus on the gifts with purchases. Now, full disclosure, I did not hit the threshold to get the gifts with purchases. I bought them in the aftermarket off of eBay for about $30 each. $30 will make me holler and will make me buy LEGO. Thank you. I spent a couple days building the Forestman's Hideout and the Magisto's Magical Workshop. First, I built the Forestman's Hideout. This was a really nice building experience. It took me about an hour because I was constantly distracted by my fur baby. The set comes with two figures, a male and a female who are dressed in classic green Forestman outfits. They're both equipped with bows and arrows. The set also comes with a neat side build of a target for archery practice. The main build looks like a nice tree, a big tree that has a tree house built into it. Now the tree itself is black, like my friend Chris here. I really like the look of this set. It's relatively small, but also not so small when you consider that this was a gift with purchase featuring 258 pieces, including lots of fancy tree elements. And the set does open up to reveal the hideout of the Forstman, giving the set its name. There's a ladder and a barrel featuring some gold, and overall it's just a nice little playset. I'll be displaying the set open because it looks longer when it's open and more grand. I give the set overall a 9 out of 10, losing a point for being a gift with purchase and not easily available to the public. Even now, the set sells for about 50 bucks on eBay, and that is a bit too much for this set if you ask me. But if you got the cash, go for it. Next set is the Magisto's Magical Workshop, another set that is dominated by the color black, like my friend Chris here. This one I was not particularly thrilled about, but it looks decent enough to where the $30 price tag that I paid wasn't too difficult to swallow. Like the other gift with purchase set, this one also comes with two figures, a male wizard who shares a face print with Santa Claus, but also you get a lady, Lion Knight Soldier, so that's a win-win in my book. This build was a bit less fun than the Forestman Hideout. I say that because it was quite a fragile build until you got closer to the end. So the more pieces you put on, the more stable it felt, but it kept falling apart on me, uh, especially the bit in the back. Perhaps this was just a skill issue, I'm not sure. But for me, it kept falling apart in my hands. Once the set is done and built, it's just a little bit confusing to me. I don't really understand what it's supposed to be. Like I know it's a workshop, but it's a building that's also a mountain, but it's also got trees growing out of it. I don't super understand what all of that is supposed to be. If you're into medieval stuff, then it kind of looks medieval. So there you go, you got that going for you. The inside has a few details here and there, but overall I think that I was just convinced to buy it because of FOMO, the fear of missing out. I think I had the FOMO of not purchasing this set because I'd already had the Forestman hideout at this point, and I thought, okay, Lego's only going to make two gift with purchases that are medieval. Hopefully that's true, because I am out of money. I didn't want to have an incomplete medieval collection, even if that meant purchasing a set that I wasn't super excited for, which is not the healthiest mindset to have, but that's okay, because the decision has been made and now I must accept it. <sighs> I give the Magisto's Magical Workshop overall a 6 out of 10. Twas just meh. 
I much prefer the Forceman's Hideout, I think. Aesthetically, it looks much better. It's much more interesting to play with. The Forceman's Hideout is a recreation of an old set called the Forceman's Hideout, which originally released in 1988, the year that the Teddy Grams were invented. The Magisto's Magical Workshop is a recreation of a set that originally released in 1993, and that was called Magisto's Magical Workshop. Back in 1993 is when Jurassic Park released, just to give you a perspective on time. Also, the year that my parents got married. Why did you create me? <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to my mom because she got me this Speed Champion set, which is largely blue, but also, if you look on the back side, has lots of black in it. Like my friend Chris here. That's it for now. Happy Medieval May, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, your support is hugely appreciated, but especially I want to give a shout out to Anonymous SDMTS employee. You are the first and only Block Party member of my channel. So, humongous thank you and shout out to you. I appreciate the support. Also, everybody watching these videos, thank you for tuning in and sticking to the end. If you want to join the Block Party down below, just click join in the description. Do you agree with my thoughts on these sets? Probably not. Say mean things to me in the comments. See if I cry. I'll wait till you're asleep and then I'll cry. Obviously, I prefer the Forceman's Hideout, but if you have different thoughts, let me know in the comment section down below. Which one do you think is a better gift with purchase? Thanks for tuning in. Bye bye